Welcome back to the squat training cycle. This is week number six. And before we get into session A, I just wanna do a quick debrief of what's gonna be happening this week. So week six is gonna be a deload. We've been scaling up in weight for five consecutive weeks. And now it's time just to throttle back just a little bit. But that doesn't mean we're gonna be taking off completely. What we're gonna be doing for week six is dividing up the volume into three separate training sessions. So we're gonna have a session A, a session B, and a session C for this week, which will be made later in the week. So looking at session A, it is going to be a different rep range of what we are accustomed to. As you can see, we're gonna have a set of eight, five, and three for the back squat and the front squat. The percentages are scaled back significantly and the rest periods are kept at a relatively long break, which is what we want to be doing here. Again, we're scaling back the intensity, but still accumulating some good volume. In session B, what we are going to see is higher percentages, but significantly less volume and significantly more time between sets. Um, so that's how we're gonna mix things up and vary it there. And then in the C session, we are gonna go heavier. Again, scale back the volume even more, but hit higher percentages there. So to get into session A and get into the weeds to give a little bit more of my perspective, let's get right into it. Looking at the back squat. It is two sets of eight, two sets of five, and two sets of three at 63%, 67%, and 71% respectively with a three minute rest period in between each set. So this set of eight for me personally jacked up my heart rate and was a lot more challenging. I definitely didn't have the right mindset going into this and I took the 63% for granted and it kicked my butt in the first set. So really lock in, don't take these weights for granted. They're still, you know, 60% and above for a relatively high amount of reps. As you scale into the fives and threes, the heart rate will come back down. You'll start to kind of hit a groove a little bit. And that's where I felt really, really confident in my reps on the second set of five and the two sets of three repetitions. Now, this in total took me about 25 minutes and it should have been a little bit quicker, but we were dealing with a little bit of a cramp in my quad and my groin area. Um, I don't think I properly hydrated too well. Um, I drank maybe a little bit too, coffee, too much coffee at work and didn't replenish enough liquids coming into the gym. I hit a pretty intense five by 40 cal row interval with progressive intensity for each set with two minutes rest. And I think I wasn't recovered enough. I didn't hydrate enough. And maybe I was a little bit more overstimulated than I thought. So keep that in context for your guys' training. Um, just wanted to use that as like a Monday warm up into this back squat, front squat cycle. So just keep that in mind, but this should have been maybe around 20 minutes to do in total, 22 at max um, for the back squat at least. I took probably about a 10, 15 minute break here. I got something to eat, more electrolytes, more liquid, massaged everything out, everything felt great. We got back to training. Front squats, same percentages, same rep scheme, two by eight at 63 two by five at 67, two by three at 71%. The only difference here for the front squat is we've added 30 seconds of rest. Again, that's because we have six sets here of this back squat. So we need a little bit more rest here, again, for those quality of reps that we're looking for. Um, and in total, this took about 26 minutes. Um, this makes sense because you have a longer rest period here. And this is why the back squat should have been a little bit shorter. But again, that first set of eight reps I learned my lesson from the back squat and I was definitely more mentally prepared. Still kicked my butt because eight repetitions was something my body was a little bit foreign to and definitely was feeling a nice glute pump at the end of those two sets of eight. Set of five was a little more manageable. That fifth rep was starting to get a little more challenging than I expected. So just keep that in mind for the two, finding that you need to hydrate and rest because again, on the set, right before the set of three, I started cramping up again in my quad and my groin area. So really make sure we're hydrating, we're fueling properly, we're taking the proper precautions if the body's not firing on all cylinders for this week. So please keep that in mind, keep the body healthy. We wanna keep training and progressing, you gotta stay healthy. On these back half of, not back half, the final two sets of three at 71%, this is where I felt my most confident with it. These are percentages I'm more comfortable with at a rep scheme that we're more accustomed to. So I think the body kind of locked in, pulled my lats in, everything was moving real smooth from, from the ground up to the barbell. So again, feeling pretty good with 71%. You should be very confident with all these percentages for the back squat and the front squat. 
Again, if you need to scale back a little bit, add a little more time, please do that. Please adjust the workout to your liking. In total for working time, it should be about 50 minutes. Throw in 15, 20 minutes to warm up and we're looking at just over an hour, probably 75 minutes max if you include cleanup. So that is week six, session A. Stay tuned for the next two sessions for this week as we do have a B and C. Thank you guys for watching this episode. As always, peace, much love.